Hello and welcome to the first reading vlog of 2021. In this vlog I will be reading The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. This is a new release, it just came out last year, and this is about a library where you can go to relive your life if you'd made different decisions. It deals with mental health and I don't know much more than that. I have not heard very many reviews for it. I've heard books with Emily Fox rave about it and that's really it. I'm kind of behind in booktube so Probably people have already been reviewing it and I just haven't seen it. So I'm going in with really no expectations. It's not really something that I would have picked up as quickly as I am doing now, except for the fact that I have just recently joined a book club and this is the pick for this month. So I have to read it. I am still excited to read it. I was interested in the premise when I heard it, but I just didn't expect to pick it up this fast. So I will be starting that book today and this vlog will give you all of my live reactions to the book, but no spoilers. I never put any spoilers in my reading vlogs and this is not going to be any different. So I will show you my updates and what I'm thinking about this book as I go through it, but I will not be spoiling anything if you plan to read it as well. So I was fully intending to start the Midnight Library yesterday, and technically I did, it just wasn't until the middle of the night when I couldn't sleep. So I have started it, I've read about 30-35% of it, and I... I'm having some trouble with the writing, I'm not really getting along with the writing style. He uses a lot of sentence fragments to um, like add descriptors to things, and it's fine, it's very very casual and kind of annoying for me just because I'm not used to it. It's much, I'm used to much more formal writing, which is what I normally get in fantasy, and this is not high fantasy. It has some fantasy elements, but I think it's much more literary um, because it deals with this woman who is, at the beginning of the book, going to commit suicide. So there are mental health issues in here with a, a fantasy element where she gets to relive different parts of her life where she made different decisions and went on different paths, basically parallel universes. So it's very literary in tone while having a fantastical element, but the writing is very, very casual. So it's not what I'm used to. The story so far is interesting and I am interested in the characters and interested to see what all of these different lives hold for her, but it's not my favorite so far. Supposedly cats aren't supposed to like foil, it's supposed to deter them from jumping onto places and yet she doesn't care. If you didn't see my last video, which was my December wrap-up, I got a new cat and we are having trouble training her not to jump on things. So if you have any ideas for how we can stop her from jumping where she shouldn't, please let me know. Foil apparently doesn't work. So I'm 50% through this book now. The new character that's just been introduced is very interesting and it's starting to get more sci-fi than fantasy or it's still pretty much like literary fiction I think but it's bringing in more sci-fi elements now so that is really interesting. I still don't really know where it's gonna go from here and I will keep reading and find out. has been extremely hyper this morning. She keeps attacking my legs and she won't stop. 
Please use the scratching post, please. We can't get her to use it. She's still scratching things like the couch and the bed. Um, she stopped scratching the window screen because we covered in in foil, so she can't actually scratch it. But she's still scratching the couch that we haven't covered with a blanket, and she's still scratching the bed, even though we keep spraying it with lemon scent. So, if anyone can help us. We put catnip on this pole, too. She's more interested in laying around it, but she's still not scratching it, so... <laughs> If anyone knows how to get her to scratch this instead of a bed or a couch or a window screen that would be very helpful also my legs don't scratch my legs either that would be great Rose, if you're watching, this smoothie is entirely your fault because you kept showing smoothies in this vlog, so I had to pause it and go make one, even though it currently looks like this outside. And you also managed to freak out my cat, as evidenced by the next clip. finished the Midnight Library. It was a very quick read, much faster than what I'm used to, which is a lot of really big fantasy tomes. It has very short chapters, which make it really easy to get through quickly, and I liked it. It was pretty good. I could definitely see where it was going. It was kind of predictable, but that's fine sometimes. It was an entertaining story the whole way through it. It's also very uplifting and full of hope, especially for anyone who has any struggles with mental health. I still never quite got along with the writing style, and I would be very curious if any of you have read any other Matt Haig, if his writing is the same in this as it is in all of his other works because I am interested in reading some of his other books but after reading this I'm kind of questioning if I want to read anything else if it has the same writing style as in this one because it was not my favorite. Overall I thought it was a good story. I enjoyed the ride. It's not something that I am particularly in love with just because it's not something that I can particularly connect to as much as I know other people have. And with the added issue of the writing being a little bit jarring for me, it's just not making one of my favorite books ever which is fine. It was still a good book. I enjoyed my time with it. I'm glad I read it, and I would definitely recommend it for others if you're interested in this. It was a good book, and I liked it. So that is going to be the end for this vlog. Oh, hi kitty. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> All right, that is going to be the end. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're having a lovely day, and I will see you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Saturn, you want to say bye to? Meow. <laughs> no.